with another uh, cornrow hunting video today. Um, yesterday we did some um, two boxes of pennies, which we didn't find anything amazing, and so we didn't videotape. So here's some of our finds. We have some wheat pennies in there. Well, now we're cornrow hunting a hundred dollars worth of nickels. We've got some forties, some nickels from the forties and fifties, a Canadian cent, but. When I opened this roll, I was I saw a um, colored brim that was a little bit darker than all the others, and as you can see right there, we have a silver. So I'm going to pop this and see what the mint mark is. Sure is a silver, 1943. Sweet. Oh yeah. Oh, 63. <laughs> Let's see the mint mark. P. So it's made in Philadelphia. That's awesome. First silver of the day. We, as you can tell, we have a lot of rolls to go. And he has some right there. Awesome. Alright, guys. I just found 1948 out of this roll. As you can tell, there's some little odd rims. So we want to see what this one is. Probably just dirty. Doesn't look too... Yeah, just a modern dirty one. Yep. Sometimes they can fool you, but this one, it's a little darker rim, so I decided to pull out. And it's pretty worn. I think it has a D mint mark right there. Yes, it does. Sweet. Alright, guys, I just popped out this roll. We have four rolls to go each. And look at this. You see that S mint mark above there? That's a soul, another one. That's amazing. Look at the toning of that. The edge is pretty cool too. 46. Cool. And it's another 43 it looks like. Wow. That is awesome. Two silvers in one box. We haven't found two silvers in one box. That's pretty interesting. Let's see if there's any more silver in these next four rolls. Okay, here's our take. So, um, let's just dive in. <laughs> Uh, right above over here, I got some 40s. I, yeah, all of them are 1948. Um, here's some in the 50s, 57, 54, 57, 59, and 58. And there's a 59 and a 58. And this one is very interesting to me. Um, I, I can't even see the, the date much. But I believe it's um, a 2000. But it looks like it has no detail. Well, let me get a. See, look. It's kind of weird. It's it's smooth, but I don't think it's smashed. It doesn't appear to be smashed. I don't know. It's kind of odd. I wonder what the story is behind that. Um, and up here we have a 1946, 57, 59, 59, 56, 41, what's this one, 58, 48, 59, 56, 57, and the Canadian set, which is from 1985, which is pretty cool, we're finding foreign coins. In our currency. Um, and above here, we have our silvers. You can see the mint marks above the dome, which that's one of my favorite parts about this coin. So this, they're both 1943, but they're minted in different mint factories, in different mints. I thought that was pretty cool. That's awesome. We haven't found two silver coins in um, one box. So that was pretty interesting. No buffaloes today or vegan nickels. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I will get back to you as, I don't know, as fast as I can. Um, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, um, I would hopefully have more metal detecting videos up soon. It just has been very hot lately. So, we will see you guys in the next video.